Hello, hello. Good night. Hello, good night. Good night. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, three students. Godofredo, Roger. How's it? Hi. How's it going? I'm um, awesome. Probando. Ah, come Probando on. a ver si funciona. Ah. <laughs> I'm el linter. Estaba arreglando el, el cable. <laughs> Lo siento. Arreglando el linter. Okay, fixing, fixing the internet. You're fixing your connection. Why are you fixing your connection? Having problems with the internet? Hello, Gabriela. Hello, teacher. How's it going? No, la otra. Castro? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Good night. Good evening. You say good evening. Good evening. Yeah, sorry. Say good night. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Hello, Elaine. How are you? Get in there. Hello. Hello, Gabriela Aguirre. How are you? Okay. Person Barahona. Bye. Okay. Good. Let's start today's topic. But before, do you have any question regarding the previous? Uh, yep. Yeah. Questions? Questions? Um, no, no questions. Any, algunas no. Hemos visto hasta ahora su vocabulario, ¿verdad? A lot of vocabulary, food vocabulary. Espero que hayan cenado ya porque vamos a hablar de comida. Yeah. So, <laughs> you're from Maria. Welcome. Hola. Hello. Thank Hello. Okay, let's go, guys. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. This additionally, additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. What? Well, yeah. here's the Spanish, right? <laughs> so, what do you have? Uh -uh. What do you, what do you have? Breakfast. Okay. What do you have? What do you have? There's two conversations. Fish. Listen, fish. What do you have? For, fish for, for breakfast. breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Fish for breakfast. Okay. Let's let's see the conversation. Let me make this bigger. Okay. Please pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the US, Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The US. Eggs. Bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Mexico, eggs. Beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? 
What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have? Soup. Okay. Let's see if this helps at all. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? I thought about fish cooked. Cooked fish. Yo pensé en el pescado cocinado. But I love sushi. Pero amo el sushi. Sushi is delicious. So, da, come on, Gabriela Castro. Come on, Castro. Yeah, sushi is delicious. And for breakfast, eh, sounds good. Sounds interesting. It sounds interesting. Okay, so what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Okay. What do, what do you have for breakfast? You for breakfast. What do you have? What do you have for breakfast? I don't know. You don't know? What What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Good. What What do you have? 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 For breakfast. Yeah, that's you do it. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, let's go with. I'm sending you the image or the images of this class so you can have them next to you. Now the conversation. It's not that clear. Hmm. No está tan clara la conversación. Okay, questions, questions, questions. ¿Alguna nueva palabra en el vocabulario? I don't know. So it's not, it's not tortillas, it's tortillas. 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 Tortillas, okay. Tortillas. Okay, so yeah. let's do yeah. this together, okay? Let's do this together. Let's share it together. Someone's watching TV. Okay. I'll go one by one. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Gabriela Castro. Tell me. Give me a number between one and five. Four. Four. Your left or my left? My left. It's the same thing. Lo mismo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, Gabriela Aguirre, one. Dinora Flores, two. Edwin Padilla, three. Godofredo, four. Okay, Godofredo, thank you. Okay, Godofredo. Yeah. What do you have for breakfast? I have breakfast. It is eggs. Eggs, okay. Cheese. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Apple. Apple. Oh. Uh, see. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> what else? Um, orange, sweet, sweet. Orange juice. Orange, orange juice. Use. use. Or, orange juice. Yeah. Orange juice. Make sure you make sound of the G. Asegurate que son en la G. G. Orange. Orange. Exactly, my Orange. Orange. Very good. Orange juice. Very good. Orange juice. Orange juice. Thank you. Okay, Godofredo. Give me a number between one and five. Um, three. 
three, 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 three. Excellent. Okay. Hey, your left or my right? I don't know. No, he didn't say it. Okay, I will say my right. So, uh, Maria de Los Angeles, one, Beatriz Nurse, number two, and Charles. Charles, number three. Hello, Charles. Charles. Hello, Charles. Hey, Charles, why do you have for breakfast? I have um, egg and orange juice mm -hmm. on different different meals um, every day. And meals every day. I like that. Different mm -hmm. just todos los días. Excellent. Let's look at the conversation. Mm -hmm. Ok, según la conversación, aquí también podemos ocupar los abrevios de frecuencia, ¿se acuerdan? Y así hablamos en español, ¿no? Usualmente yo como nada, right? A veces no desayuno. Sometimes, ¿cómo digo eso? A veces no desayuno. María, Jacqueline, Sapari, Hugo. Hardly ever. I hardly ever, I hardly ever have breakfast. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Um, I hardly ever have breakfast. I never have breakfast. Podría ser también. Nunca. Ok. Hablando de los tiempos de comida, yo siempre voy a decir I um, have I have breakfast, I have lunch, I have dinner. Ok. okay. Yeah. Es decir, ese have siempre va a ir presente antes de un tiempo de comida. ¿Cómo se llama el tiempo que haces cuando te levantas de goma a la una de la tarde? Almuerzo. No. Break? No. Break? No. Lunch. Está combinado ahí el break y el lunch. El break. Brunch, 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 algo así. Brunch. 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 B R U N C H B R U N C H. It's brunch. Brunch. Yeah. Brunch. See, I'm having brunch. <clears throat> I'm having brunch. brunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Beatrice. Hi. <laughs> I see. Lo siento. <laughs> no. No, mentira, aquí estoy. <laughs> How are you? Bien. Fine, great. Tired. <laughs> tired, tired, I know. Hey, what do you have? What do you have for dinner? What do you have for dinner? Hay tantas tiempo de comida, Beatriz. Es como lo que caiga o pellizcar algo en lo que anda caminando, ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿cómo puedo decir eso? Justamente eso me pasa. You can say, I don't have a meal time. I don't have a meal time. I don't, I don't have a meal time. I don't have a Um, I don't know. Three. <laughs> Se me corta la, el audio. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. Uh, who else? Let's see. Select somebody, Beatriz. Select somebody on your screen. Okay. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Let's see. Um, hay tantos. <laughs> Dinora Flores, no sé quién es. Es Dinora. Hola. Hi, good evening. Good evening. What do you have for lunch? Almuerzo, verdad? Lunch, yeah, that's almuerzo. 
Chicken. Chicken, chicken. Rice. Rice. Uh, tortillas. Tortillas, very good. And juice, juice. Crunch. Eh, jugo de. Ah, coca. Perdón. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> then you say Coke, Coke, or soda, a soda. Great job. Okay. Good job. Okay. So let somebody else, Inora. Perdón. Choose somebody else. Choose somebody else. Elige alguien más. Select somebody. Alfredo. Alfredo. Hello. Good evening, Alfredo. Thank you, Dinora. Hello, teacher. Hello, Alfredo. What do you usually, what do you usually have for breakfast? Uh, I have cereal, white milk. Cereal, cereal, cereal with milk. With milk. With with everybody with 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 with. with. There you go. Acuérdense, la TH al final es una Z. With. Z. With. 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 There you go. Cereal, cereal with milk. Okay. Hey, do you like to put bananas to your cereal? And, uh, you know. Uh, okay. What else? Royer? Hotcakes. Hotcakes. Royer, do you like hotcakes for break? Delicious. Ooh. Okay, what about peanut? Peanut butter with hotcakes, Royer. Peanut butter with hotcakes. Mm. No. <laughs> uh, crema de maní. No. No? No. With... Uh, teacher, how do you say... Um, uh -huh. uh, uh, yeah, me acordé. Hotcakes with honey. 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 Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. One more. Let's see another lady, Jacqueline. Cuando pone la. Okay. Durmiendo, yo no sé. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. What do you usually have for breakfast? Um, eggs. Eggs. Okay. Beans. For break. Did I say breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. Right? Eggs, beans. Uh huh. Cream. Cream, okay. Yes, and tomato. Yes, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. How do you say mm, with eggs? With eggs. With yes. No, tomato sauce with eggs. Tomato. Yeah. Yes. And coffee with milk. Bread. Jacqueline, bread, bread. Jacqueline. Yes, bread. How do you like your eggs? How do you like your eggs? Hi. Um Egg with. Um, <laughs> how do you say? Eggs. How do you say revueltos? Or? Revueltos, that's the question. En español, como decimos, estrellados. No existe la palabra estrellados en inglés. Okay, just to clarify. Oh, I, algo similar. Teacher. Cometer el error de decir estrellados o or, or crashed. Scrambled eggs? No, es revuelto. Never. Uh, crashed eggs, okay? No. You say scrambled. Uh, very good, Gaby. Scrambled. Para, para decir huevos eh, picados sería eh, chop, scrambled. Chop. scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. What about scrambled eggs. fried eggs? Oh, fried eggs estrellados. That will be a Yeah. Fried eggs. 
Boiled. Where is boil boil eggs? Boil. Uh, this is duros. Boiled eggs is oh. hervidos. No, I have to say oh. hard eggs. <laughs> 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 okay, so fried eggs with uh, with tomato sauce, mm -hmm. sauce, tomato. Egg. And scrambled eggs with jam, uh, jam. Tomato. Okay, tomato sauce with jam, jam. Yeah. Jam. What tomato sauce? What? Come on, come. On. Come again, Maria. Hmm? Come again. It's scrambled eggs with with jam. Ah, yeah. que continue. Uh, no. Scrambled eggs with jam. Uh, jamón. Ah. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Ham, jamón. Jam, jalea. Ah. <laughs> Um, ham? Yum, ham. Okay, ham. Ham. Sweet boy. And two seconds, coffee. <laughs> My kids love sweet bread. Sweet bread with Drink. milk. Sweet bread, pan dulce, with, with their sweet beverage, con su bebida dulce. So if they're eating, by the way, you cannot say tamarindo. There's no way to translate tamarindo, horchata, cebada. There's no translation. Okay. okay. So it's just um, cebada beverage. Or chat a beverage, uh, or you have to find my kids love their sweet bread with their beverage, sweet beverage. So if they're eating or chata, if they're drinking or chata, or they're drinking cebada or chan, I don't know, yeah, they go with the sweet bread. I'm like, well, don't do that. Okay, I like, I have for breakfast fried plantains, for example. Um, what is plantains? It's not taken. It. Oh, there it is. Plant, plantains. Mm, yeah, plantains. Okay, fried plantains. Uh, also, uh, fried eggs. Oh, fried eggs with tortilla. Okay. Or the opposite, fried tortilla with eggs. Fried tortilla. With, so you cut. You cut the tort. You cut the tortilla and then you fry it. And you fry it, and then you add the eggs. Teacher, um, the plant plantains. Yeah, fried plantains. I think. I'm trying to say platano in English, platain. I knew it was platain. But somehow, it's not taking it, plantain. This is me, okay, platain. No, it's not taking it, I don't know. But I'm sure it is platain. I'll Google it. I'll Google it, okay? Let's move. So what do you have for breakfast, guys? What do you have for lunch? What do you have for dinner? Dinner. Yeah. Easy. Okay, let's move on. You have. And you can use the frequency adverb. What do you what do you usually have? What do you often eat? What do you often eat? Okay, let's move on with adverbs of frequency when you talk about food. I think that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what do you usually have? Okay, let's look at this. This is grammar. Grammar, please pay attention. Uh -huh. 
no whistling, no whistling, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs. And they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%. Usually equals 80%. Often equals 70%. Sometimes equals 50%. Hardly ever equals 25%. Never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Form questions. You may follow this formula. Auxiliary do or does plus the subject plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, uh, a verb half. Finally, we need to add a complement. Fish for breakfast. 
and we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do sometimes I do no I never do now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own I would like for you to think about food particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast lunch and dinner and express how often you eat this type of food <laughs> okay, let's go. What type of what type of food do you like to eat? Esto estaba bien interesante. Pregunta que habíamos visto a nivel de frecuencia. No, teacher. No. 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 Really? No. Okay. Really? Not really. Era como el otro. Entonces, como el otro. Okay. Grupo. Uh, let me check something quick here. Ok, uh, lo que explicaba José es bien sencillo, chicos. Ok, para entender un mejor, mejor los abrevios de frecuencia son los que nos sirven para decir tal cual el nombre lo dice: ¿Qué tan a menudo realizas una acción? ¿Con qué frecuencia realizas una acción? Eh, ahorita estamos viéndolo con verbos. So, tendríamos que seguir la fórmula que él decía ahí, ¿no? Hardly ever. Uh, perdón, el sujeto, ¿sí? El adverbio y luego el verbo principal. Les voy a enviar este cuadro, pero clavémonos en esa estructura ahorita. So, vamos a ver. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Really quick. Es la primera vez que lo vemos entonces. Vamos a detenernos un poquito para asegurarnos de que no haya... Que esto quede claro, ¿no? Eso es la meta. Let's see. Crop this. Ok. So, siguiendo la estructura que ponía ahí José, eh, hay que agregar el sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia y el verbo principal. Y decía, ¿no? I usually... Oops. Ok. Decía, I... Usually eat um, eggs for breakfast. Ok. Estaba viendo la forma de la interrogación también. Como estamos ocupando, y esto sirve para el presente simple, ocupamos el do o el does para generar una pregunta. Seguimos con lo mismo. Ok. Luego vendría el subject. Luego vendría el frequency adverb, el verbo de frecuencia, y luego el verbo y un complemento. Ok. Don't forget the question mark. It's very important. Entonces, uh, Edwin, ¿cómo formularía la pregunta? Uh -huh. Siempre comes frijoles. Siempre comes frijoles en el desayuno. Uh. Eh, do, do, uh -huh. do. Estoy hablando en segunda persona. Tú, tú. Tú. Uh, do. Eh, sería. Do, do you. Excellent. Do you. Uh -huh. ¿Qué verbo de frecuencia? De frecuencia. Eh, Ocuparse, estoy preguntando eh, si siempre come frijoles. Sería. Uh, always. Excellent. Always. Do you always? ¿Cuál es el verbo comer? Uh, yet. Eat. Uh -huh. Eat. 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 Ok. Y decía huevo. No, frijoles en el desayuno, ¿no? Uh -huh. Always eat Be beans. Beans. For breakfast. 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 For breakfast. Do you always eat beans for breakfast? Okay. Siempre comes frijoles para el desayuno o en el desayuno. Entonces, tenemos dos, dos estructuras ahorita, el positivo 
Y el negativo decía, en la primera frecuencia va a ir antes del verbo. ¿Ok? Y en la pregunta iría después del sujeto, igual, antes del verbo, en el mismo lugar. Solo agregamos la, el auxiliar al principio para crear una pregunta. Teacher, question. Yeah. Eh, en la, en la fórmula que vimos en el video, en, en donde es la, la pregunta, se oía una... Eh, y, y ever, y ever, allí en la, en la fórmula. ¿Una, perdón? Un, en la, en la fórmula de, de con la pregunta de la firma se, se veía allí en la estructura y, y ever oh muy bien sí ahí va porque el ejemplo que estaba dando José estaba ocupando ever como un adverbio de frecuencia do you ever muchas gracias sí do okay. you ever sí do you ever eat beans For breakfast. Alguna vez. Si ocupo ever, sería alguna vez. Do you ever eat beans for breakfast? Correcto. Do you ever... La pregunta o sea, es... Que, fish for o sea, breakfast. Que ahí, ahí, ahí sustituyo el, el verbo de frecuencia, teacher. ¿no? La palabra y ever. Correcto. Eh, eh, el, eh, ever es otro adverbio de frecuencia. Oh, ever. Okay. Ahora, ever, ahí decía en el video, have. Do you ever have beans for breakfast? ¿Por qué pasa esto del have? Porque decía have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner. Do you ever have beans for, beans for breakfast? Do you ever have pizza for dinner? Do you ever have Um, fish for lunch? Do you ever have... Deja fácil. Do you ever have? Do you ever have? Eh, complemento. Uh -huh. Aquí el verbo sería have, ¿verdad? Have. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Questions, questions. Bien. Esos son los adverbios de frecuencia. Empiezo desde el 0%. I never... ¿Verdad? Never, hardly ever, que quiere decir casi nunca o rara vez, raramente, rara vez. Seldom, que es o casi, así como mmm, esporádicamente, no sé, allá el tiempo, ¿no? Seldom. Yo, es como decir ya casi nunca, igual hardly ever, yo casi nunca le pongo sal a mi, comu mi comida. O, o, ya, fue algo que realmente no hago. Occasionally, ocasionalmente. Sometimes, ojo, sometimes. Ya le voy a enviar este cuadrito al WhatsApp. Ok, sometimes. I sometimes sing in the shower. I sometimes sing in the shower. A veces canto en la regadera. Often and frequently, quiere decir frecuentemente. Frecuente, frecuentemente. Frecuente, frecuentemente. I often read in bed at night. Usualmente o frecuentemente, perdón, leo en la cama en la noche. Normally, normally or generally, quiere decir lo mismo normalmente, generalmente. I normally get good marks. Normalmente. Obtengo buenas notas. I generally get good marks. Usually, usualmente. I usually walk to work. Usualmente camino al trabajo. I always study after class. Espero que todos estén diciendo esto. I always study after class. Yes, yes. Y espero que al final del curso también diga, I always pass my exams. Okay. Y que todos digamos, Beatriz always passes her exams. <laughs> yes. Ok. Afirmativo. <laughs> Esto se lo dejo a su discreción porque no vamos a cubrir ahorita, pero ¿cómo usar el verbo to be con, con, con la frecuencia? Ok. He always, he's always, estoy hablando de siempre, de no ser nunca, es otro tema, ok. Good. Mientras tanto nos vamos a quedar con esta estructura de la izquierda, 
con este cuadrito. Ahorita se los envío a su chat. Questions. Please. No questions. No question. No question. Okay, el que cae otorga. <laughs> Let's continue then. Okay. Okay. Let's... okay. Yes. Yes. Um, ay, no sé cómo así lo voy a intentar. Que si, que si cambia en, siempre en la tercera persona. Change, change the person three. Third person. When we use the third person, yes, it changes. Sí cambia, Beatriz. No, si, siempre, o sea, siempre se modifica el verbo. Si es positivo lo que estoy diciendo. Uh, Beatriz always sleeps in the class. <laughs> Sí, siempre se modifica el verbo. Ese es... Ok. Be Thank you. Always participates in the class. Ok. Sí, gracias. Una buena observación. Si ¿Sí entendieron todos, aunque esté el verbo de frecuencia presente, el verbo siempre se va a modificar en terceras personas, que son... She, he, it. She, he, it. She, he, it. He, she, it. Okay, we have a knowledge. Person, tell me. No, Hugo. Hugo. Sí, una pregunta. Bueno, en, uh, en la forma de la pregunta, entonces, eh, solo para que me quede un poquito claro, eh, siempre sería do you ever, y el verbo puede cambiar después del, o siempre va a ser have. No, no, no. Eh, a ver, el ejemplo era, do you ever have beans for breakfast? Mm -hmm. uh, perdón, do you ever have Vamos otra vez. Me, se me borró el cassette por un segundo. Perdón, José. Hugo. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? En ese caso estoy hablando de un tiempo de comida. El verbo have puede cambiar. Ah, ok. Por ejemplo, do you ever run at night? Okay. Do you ever, al decir do you ever, te estoy preguntando alguna vez. Do you ever run at night? ¿Alguna vez corres en la noche? ¿Ok? ¿Puedo, okay. ¿puedo cambiar el verbo de frecuencia? Uh, do you always kiss your mother? Do you always kiss your mother? ¿Qué te estoy preguntando, Hugo? Eh, si siempre beso a mi madre. Perfect. Very good. Do you always kiss your mother? Uh, that's fácil. Do, okay. do you never see... Uh, The moon? No. Do you do you never watch? Do you never watch TV at night? Do you never watch TV at night? Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pregunté? Person. Casi nunca ve televisión. No. You never watch TV at night? Nunca ves tele. Nunca ves tele en la noche. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Oh, excellent. <laughs> So now we have a knowledge check, knowledge check, knowledge check. Let's see. We have to order the sentences, unscramble, unscramble the sentences, unscramble the sentences, and write the sentence in the right order. So let's move on. Number one, volunteer. Um, me teacher. Me teacher. Hey, Gabriela Castro. And then we have Hugo or who, who said? Roger. Roger, okay. Mm -hmm. To Roy. Okay, number one is I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Okay, I hardly ever eat snacks at work. Okay, thank you, Roger. And uh, number two, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Thank you. Someone else? Me teacher, Hugo. Hugo? I often have dinner with my family. Okay. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Family. What did he say? No lo escribió en family. Uh, family. Yeah. Se faltó la in latina. The L. The L. I missed. I missed. The L. I miss. I miss the L. 
So, okay. Next. So now let's talk about an article about special foods. So we can develop skills uh, in scanning and reading for details. So vamos a hablar, vamos a ver un, un a leer un artículo y lo vamos a discutir acerca de special food, comida especial como en la sopa de murciélago, for example. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. 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 Yeah, you. Okay, let's go. So, this is a special food. Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, People eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with collard greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Wow. Okay. Did you get it? Si no entendieron? It's too interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Okay, so what do we have for New Year's Eve? Anybody, what do we have for New Year's Eve? Greeks eat bus. Uh huh. What do we have for Chinese, Eve? For Chinese people, it's tangerine. Tangerine, yeah. For Chinese, it's tangerine. Um, what about, oh, be careful. You cannot say, uh, do you eat Mandarin? Do you eat Mandarin? Because Mandarin is the language of Chinese uh, Chinese people, you know. It's not Chino, but así existe el Chino. Pero ajá, el, uh, la, el habla en general es um, Mandarin. Mandarin es, es, es la lengua, ¿no? Ellos. So you cannot say, do you eat Mandarin? <laughs> ¿Comes Mandarin? No. Okay. Tangerine, tangerine. Okay, so what do we have? What do we have? What do we have for uh, Christmas? Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve. For New Year's Eve, Salvadorians eat? Yeah. Grapes, grapes, right? Yes. Yeah, any question? Uh, Apples? Yes. Do you like apples on New Year's Eve? Okay. Good. Any questions on this video? Okay. What does it sound like? What does it sound like uh, the Vasiloptia? Vasiloptia. Do, do we have a tradition like this? The Vasilopita? No. Yeah, it, we have we have a Mexican tradition. We have a Mexican tradition on January January 6th. January 6th. What is it? La torta de reyes? Yes, the king's torta. There you go. King's cake. <laughs> 
-hmm. Es una rosca de reyes, creo, ¿no? Ok. So, yeah, that's what we usually do. Ok, guys, just to finish uh, this... Um, we have a reading. We have to read the article, then select the word that completes each sentence correctly. So, Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are... Brown, like years. Brown, like years. Very good. Thank you. All right. Let's go with the next one. Some Jewish, listen, some Jewish people eat apples with... Honey. Honey? Honey. Honey. For... Honey. Eat, oh, yeah. For a sweet year. Okay. Honey. Is it honey or syrup? Honey. Um, honey. Honey. Uh, honey. Um, <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. Greeks... Eat basilopita. Bread with a coin. A coin inside. Okay. A coin inside. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? If you get the coin, what happens if you get the coin? It's a beans. A bean. No, it's a coin. It is a coin. It is a coin. Yeah, it's a coin. But what is the what is the meaning of the coin? Moneda. What happens if you get the coin? For luck. And Good luck. And money. Good. Luck. Thank you, Gabby. I think uh, you say luck. Good luck. Everybody. Good, Good luck. Good luck. Luck. Good luck. luck. Money. 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 No me vayan a decir money. Porque yo no me algún dinero. Money. No. Show me money. the money. 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 Okay. Money. In Spain, France, or Italy, people eat 12 grades for good luck in the new year. Spain. 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 Okay. Yeah. Spain. The Japanese, where, where else? Where else do they eat 12 grapes? In some... Rice. Rice. No, you didn't get it. Okay. Uh, ¿Dónde más comen 12 uh, uvas para buena suerte? En el Salvador. En el Salvador. En el Salvador. En Latin America. Excellent. In some Latin. Latin America. Some Latin America. Latin America. Okay. The Japanese eat rice. 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 Make it a noun, not a verb. Strength. Fuerza. 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 There you go. For fuerza. In there. Very good. Some Americans eat black-eyed peas. Black-eyed peas are... Mm -hmm. Coins. Coins. I like coins. Excellent. I like coins. Yeah, black eyed peas are like coins. So the meaning, el significado de los black eyed peas is coins. Okay. ¿Qué son black eyed peas, por cierto, en español? What is that? No idea? Okay. I don't know. Frijoles negros. something like that. Yeah. Guisantes, son guisantes negros, de hecho. Guisantes, hay negros y verdes. Good guys, um, so... Please study, por favor estudien y traten de llegar hasta ese contenido, hasta el 4. Punto, era 8, 12, 13, 4. 12, 12. And on Monday, we continue with the classes and we start with unit 5 and your final exams, which are next week. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher.
care, good night, and good fight. Good night. Good night. See you the next week. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.